What's up everybody, it's me King Epic. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, before I actually get into the video, I wanted to ask you guys a big question. Um, I'm thinking about a name change, nothing too crazy, but honestly, I was thinking of something like King EG, uh, basically King Epic Gaming, but just King EG, so it's actually simpler, and I think it just sounds a bit cooler too. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. I'm gonna put a comment down there, letting, uh, seeing what you guys think about it. Uh, regardless, let's get into the video. Now, you guys have seen that recently. I have not been streaming Battlefront 2 that much, other than from when I can't, when I was on my vacation. Obviously, um, I wasn't able to actually just play in general. But uh, I, you know, I came back and I'm, I'm very iffy on playing Battlefront 2, streaming Battlefront 2 because of the fact of the lack of content the fact that we still have to wait till june to get the second half of the solo season because this first half I'm not gonna lie was very disappointing it was it was kind of nothing like it was kind of just here something for you guys to like really just you know here's a hero showdown and you guys can mess with that and then you know get the leia skin and that was really it um <clears throat> so in terms of like content wise for what we got may i was not happy at all uh, so hopefully June is a whole different thing. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to really explain like what I think would actually just save Battlefront 2 and help it out so much. Um, just because of the fact that the the player base and everything, where people are staying with the game, they're trying to play as much as possible, but it's a struggle for players to continue to play and not get bored after the third or fourth match. Um, I'm getting bored after the third or fourth match of GA. Um, I play, you know, I'll play Hero Showdown or Heroes vs. Villains, and it's just like, you know, sometimes you just get angry in that because of the fact that, you know, the dark side heroes are sometimes just way better than the light side heroes. And just, it's just a whole bunch of, you know, different scenarios that could just make you not want to play Heroes vs. Villains or something or, or Blast or whatever. So I want to talk about the five ways, anyways. So one way I was really thinking that would just literally help this game out so much is the fact of why can't we get new blasters? Like, I feel like new blasters would help out so much in terms of just giving us content to really get out. I'm telling you, this doesn't take, you know, a whole month to get out one or two blasters. They could do two to three blasters per two, like two week patch or even a big month patch give us new blasters for each class and also you know try and incorporate some more um customization and everything that would really help out in general for the game itself and honestly i don't understand why we haven't gotten new blasters it's been six months and we haven't gotten a new blaster at all even in the first battlefront we got new blasters by then so it's kind of like why aren't we getting new blasters you know i could probably care less if they're you know not supporting this game anymore i understand you know they're moving on from this game because it was it wasn't as big as they hoped and the whole microtransaction problem and everything but why can we not get you know why can't we still get at least these new things that can actually just help out the game and recover the game for the player base that's still playing uh number two more reinforcements i love the fact that when i play on the dark side you know the the I get to play as a Death Trooper, a Flame Trooper, um, and a B2 Battle Droid. But when I get to the light side, I still, I know I've said this so many times, but I still play as a Wookiee. It's annoying to play as a Wookiee on every single map. Like, come on, Wookiee Warrior on Star Killer Base, it still makes zero sense. Like, you know, I don't care for the cross arrow, but like, at least with the dark side, we have three reinforcements we can switch around almost every match compared to every match as the light side you have to continuously play as the wookie warrior and it's actually getting really annoying to the point where you know maps like naboo and um any map that has like a really strong uh choke hold like there's choke points basically on, on the certain maps wookie warriors dominate on those maps they you, people just literally spam the thermal imploders and then it's over it's like it's hard to really take over those um certain areas of those maps uh now talking about a third thing that i think a lot of uh think that that's getting me mad is the fact that we're getting these heroes versus villains maps and these blast maps but we're not getting any ga maps why haven't we gotten you know the best from 2015 with uh you know where we had walker assault why couldn't we get that here 
um, why couldn't we get Jabba's Palace and they just made it into maybe like a Yavin 4 type map and just have a bunch of bombs everywhere that we have to, you know, go and destroy and everything. Why couldn't we get that rather than, because I know Jabba's Palace was way bigger, um, in Battlefront 1, they had a map, uh, that was, that was really big. I forgot what game mode it, for, what it was for. I think it was for Escort or something like that. Um, so it was there. You can't say, you know, Jabba's Palace is, it's not big enough. It's big enough if you just make, you know, if you just extend the map a tiny bit and then just have it where you, you know, just put in a whole, like, little section or something like that. That's what I, I kind of feel like they're just, like, lacklustering and they're just trying to give us little content. But it's always for Heroes vs. Villains, I feel like. It's always Heroes vs. Villains and Blast. And it's kind of like, okay, so no love for GA at all. Um, another thing is, of course, new heroes. I want new heroes. That would be honestly amazing. But, of course, that takes a while to actually, you know, make, make sure their moves are correct. And now, lastly, I want to talk about HUT contracts because of the fact that HUT contracts opens up so much things for the new blasters. And then also star cards. I would love to get new star cards. If we get HUT contracts, you know, you buy the HUT contracts and then basically you get new star cards and you start using it for each class. Because, honestly, guys, it's annoying to see everybody almost with the same class every single time. There's always someone with Bounty Hunter, like regardless, there's always someone with Bounty Hunter. There's someone always with a turret or some type of, um, you know, some type of, of, of shield or something like that. Not shield, um, <laughs> improved command for officer, heavy, you always see like some type of different sentry. And then, um, you know, for assault, you see like toughen up and, and basically assault training, etc. So why can't we get more star cards? I feel like like hot contracts would just open up so much for for star cards that it would be it would be crazy. And honestly, if they take this approach, I feel like a lot more people would play and a lot more people will like, will accept the fact that we have to wait months for uh, like a month every month in order to get a big update. Because to be honest, it's not fair. We wait a month to get something like Hero Showdown like two customizations for heroes and then you know like a map and that basically you can only play what two game modes in so that's what's kind of getting me a bit antsy about playing and, and everything like that i just wanted to make the video but anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace